it's sort of it's devastating <laughs> no dog poo it's devastating and beautiful at the same time what what this flood's done wow things change beautiful eh? that's the tree last year's blood i was on the other side of that fishing and here i am trout fishing the hawkesbury river and they're in you too I just seen my first herring. It's not a big bass, but I switched across to a, a herring pattern minnow, slow sinking. Go get my pliers. And uh, this one's come up. I fished quite a bit of water so far without a bite, so you're either coming on the bite or I've got the right lure. Uh, pretty, pretty little. Nice and easy. Uh, I hate giving up. Like the plan was to catch a couple of nice trout. We were, they were going nuts down the other day, but no herring, no trout. So I had to walk right around. It's beautiful. And uh, then we got here. Back, forward, gone. The rain, I seen another herring, and I got myself another bass. So they've, and I've fished this for a fair bit, so they're staging. Ooh, nice one. Well, I'll take him out with the release station. I've actually got, I actually come down here to catch herring and trap. There were some really big ones down here the other day. But um, I've seen two herring so far, so I've got a herring jig rig, rig there today. And that's the whole idea is to uh, catch them. But that's pretty good. I've, look, I'm not running the camera much because i got... Uh, still 60% now, that's all right. I can do a bit of filming. Anyway, just bear with me. That's two in two minutes, basically. It's not bad. But I mean, with the with the rainbow trout running through here and some of these real big bass, not this particular one. Hi. And the log there. That's cool. Could be the magic lure too, because Benny got trout Dropped a trophy bass, then got a big bass, then got another trout, all with one lure, and they give me the same colour lure, and then I, I say catch them, so I might have just got the right lure right now. I love cool rocks, man. That is Australia. And I don't even think it's a rock, I actually think it's a bit of uh, soil. There's a good shot there. Yeah. Doesn't that look like Australia? Yeah, it's mud. Oh no, it's gone. Oh, wow, look at that. It's Jurassic. Oh, it's an island. Gee, it's different. Look how much land it's reclaimed. There's a creek runs down there now like a little island there there's an island there there's a big island or not a big island but another island down there it's just 
all the timber and stuff up here has been pushed in and basically a whole but the river's always been that side or for years the old grace ran down here now it's i don't know what it's doing but there's all this red stuff like bright red up these ends you don't even bother fishing them. there's not even a gudgeon in but out here looks really good that's so cool look what i just found guys oh my goodness that is a really old bottle. What's it say on it? Hume and my oh, eyes are shot. Pectron. That. That's such an old bottle. Wow. There's no screw top lid on it. Unreal. It's turned out a great day. I was just sitting on the dirt. Just look down. Wow. That's a keeper. Oh. I come down here today, just this afternoon. It's been a wet day, so I thought I'll come down here. And I brought a herring jig. I was going to target the herring. And we would, I was down here what, two days ago with Ben. We were catching trout, we were catching bass. We even think we dropped the salmon, it was a weird fish. And uh, it, we've got a pattern over last year, wherever the herring come up on that turn of the tide, which I don't know what it is today, um, these, these trout come up and there's more trout down here. But anyway, I've got a couple of bass, but the best thing about it, I, I go looking, Adam, if you're watching, that sort of rock that gold would be in. And that, one of the coolest bottles I've ever found. And that is one of the best drinks I've ever drunk. So, cheers guys. Thanks for watching the video. I was all around through there earlier. I should have filmed it. I might go back and have another flick there because the two bass I caught both were when the herring come up and when the herring come up, everything's alive. And when they're not here, it's dead quiet. So they could come up any minute or it could be another hour. I'm gonna hang around a bit longer. The other day with Ben, I hooked up the biggest trout I've ever, ever seen. Lost him, of course. Ah, just quick sand. I've got a feeling the bass is sitting under this log. And just jerk bait. I've got a heavy duty snap on it so it sinks pretty quick. Oh, so do I. Come on. There's some solid sand. I'll see if I can climb up onto that tree there. And fish off it. It just feels right. Wait for a big old bass to come out. Whoa, that's quite a quicksand. I hate this stuff. I'm in a raincoat. Oh. Can I get to that stump? Can I get to that on the right? Oh, yeah. Well, I think they've got to be, because What's happening is they're activating. The herring start to pop there, and all of a sudden we're getting fish like you wouldn't believe. No herring, no fish. So I feel like they've got to be staging here somewhere. Somewhere. Crazy chunks of rock coming down with this flood. Like we broke, a, we found a broken piece last flood, and it had a seashell in it. There's just a mixture of rock inside of it. Solid, it's all rock, but you can see the little bits of rock in it. And then the colours in the rocks. Look at that. Beautiful. Bright reds, whites, blacks. Yeah, look at that for a 
the skipping rock. Right? That's awesome. These herring don't come up soon. I'm going to just get a heap of these rocks and chuck them at the water and see if I can make some of them. But... Oh, look at the colour of that one. A weird rock. Well, this is fishing, I suppose. I, um... I sat around here pretty well. Sat around here for a couple of hours, just waiting for those herring to come up. I got my little herring jig sitting there. Just didn't happen. The other day when we were down here, it was quite the opposite. The herring were coming up. I didn't have my herring jig, and the fishing was just pretty well as good as it gets. Like little flurries. Every time the herring come up, the trout would come up, and so would the bass. So it was like the bass were getting jealous. But today I've caught two bass, so I'm pretty happy with that. And I've just got to walk and play around all this stuff. So it's still unboatable, but once you can get up here in a boat, geez, you're gonna have some fun. So, and I've got a really, really cool bottle. That's probably the, possibly the oldest bottle I've ever found. That one. So, that's awesome. I know a lot of guys that watch the show. Uh, I don't even know if this is filming. Yeah, I know a lot of the guys that watch the channel. A few of them collect bottles as well, so they're going to be as stoked as I am with that. Come on, Herring, last chance. I'm going to sit here for five more minutes. And I'm going to slowly... I keep picking different tracks to walk back out so I check new things out. Oh, that's a solid steering wheel. <laughs> wow. Look, someone's already been down here with a bloody beer and a... Come on, guys. Oh. Steering wheel. Oh, look, a broken glass. What a dick. Anyone that drinks Furfies? Asshole, now I've got to take this back. A good broken glass. The steering wheel can stay. Oh, why do people do this? I mean, pick your shit up. This place is here to be shared. It's bad enough having a government destroy our land, never alone us ourselves. I took too many lures with me. Not taking that, that's a nappy. It can stay. Hmm, look at this stuff. It's. Yeah! Oh, likewise! You come in on push bike! Good on ya! Oh, yeah? What I love about this area, kids are kids. They get on their push bikes and they go and explore. Oh. That red shit again. Turned up last five minutes. Magnified this one. Good. Ugh. It's orange when you... <laughs> look at this. That's what I love about Sydney. It's orange when you look at it. It's brown when you pick it up. How's that work? And then it's orange on my fingers. Look at it all. How much has this changed? I can't wait to get up here, like boat was. It's 
so a couple more days and we'll be able to uh, drive in here. I'm gonna take the footpath. Look at that. It's almost a foot of mud. Oh, that's a big doggy. Amazing that survived. Right, thanks for watching guys. Um, like I keep saying, I do this anyway. But I keep bumping into you guys everywhere. I, got, I ran into a guy at Norvo yesterday, the kids today. Uh, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Chucking nuts at me. Thanks guys. There's another one. So you don't have to pick these. If I stood here long enough, the cockatoos are going to give me a feed. I always get them mixed up, pecan and macadamia. The one there. You a bit muddy, I don't want that one. But they're delicious, here's another one. See? We've got to thank the cockies for that. I'm going to drop a few more. These trees, all these green trees, they're just all full of these nuts. And they're delicious. Well, this is just what's dropped since the guy was with the bobcat. Look at that. This is like the bobcat was here an hour ago. Whoa. Good on you. And the, these nuts, look, they're everywhere. And the, wait, the cockies are even shelling them for me. I've got a pocket full now. But that's what we want, those. I said to the guys walking down, do you got any nuts? And they go, no, I didn't, there was none here. Now have a look at this. My pocket is chockers with them. And they're going to be delicious. Absolutely delicious. Whoa, getting bombed by them. Oh, squashed it.